And how old is your son? He's eight. Okay, right. So does he help you around the house quite a lot? And I try and avoid that because he's not my carer. He's a child. Wow. Um, yeah. So he needs to know that as well. He needs to know, mm-mm. Your job is to have fun, listen, and do your normal chores as a child. Um, he worries, he gets worried, because mm. I've had um, two mini heart attacks, and one of them, he was asleep, but he saw the ambulance come. Okay, so right, he yeah. then come downstairs. My mum was here at this point. Um, so he does get scared sometimes, especially if I'm like, I have a lot of surgeries. Yeah. Um, and I'm like, no, I'm literally, I'm going to FaceTime you as soon as I'm awake. Um, but it's just reminding him, you're not my carer. I, th- I think that's really good, yeah. yeah. I, th- I think a lot of people don't, don't know the difference between, you know, keeping a child innocent and kind of keeping yeah. a child. Exactly. And, and I'm, then, yeah. I get called an alternative parent a lot as well, which is strange. What does that mean exactly? I don't know, I feel this soft parenting does is just silly but then <laughs> the too hard parenting is silly yeah. i think you have to find a balance and like my son never went through people always say he was such a good kid you're blessed i'm like no a lot of hard work went into that that was a lot of like me putting yeah. it into him yeah i think it's how you talk to your child and you as a parent you have to evolve mm. and not every time I admit when you're wrong in front of them because they need to remember you're the parent yeah. but know that mm, maybe I didn't need to say that or do that. Um, so I feel like you need to just tap in a bit more to your child. Yeah. And how would you advise a parent to have a, a good relationship with a child? Every parent is different. Every child is different. Um, one thing I can say, life is too short and something could happen to your child, something could happen to you. So that's how I get through every day. Like. I could, an organ could just rupture and hemorrhage right now. What was my last thing I said to my son? Did he know that I love, like I do that with everybody. So I avoid having arguments. And if I have an argument, I love you, we're good. It's fine, let's move on. Because Mm. something could happen to me more than, I hate the saying when people are like, oh yeah, but anyone could get hit by a bus. But knowing that that day could happen very soon, put stuff, it puts it into, you know, it just makes it... Into perception. Yeah. Yeah, it makes it harder, but it does make it easier to live day to day. Because you're like, no, I got through today. Didn't end up in hospital. <laughs> That's good. <laughs> so I think just knowing that time will run out and being happy. Um, every parent gets frustrated. Everybody gets annoyed. Just having your own coping mechanisms. Getting a good routine. And just chill. <laughs> with with EDS, is it hereditary or is it? Well, yes, and I wasn't fully aware of that until I was five months pregnant. Okay, right. Um, which was really really hard because if I fully knew, they were like, oh yeah, you, it's genetic and it's this, but da da da, it can skip loads of generations and stuff. Mm. So I wasn't. I went to my um, my EDS specialist at the time, and I was like, listen. If I have a child, will my child have it? Very unlikely, no. When I was five months pregnant, I got called in to see a geneticist and they were like, yeah, there's 50, 50% chance. Oh, right. And wow. I felt so guilty because pff, I'd never put anybody through what I went through as an adolescent, nor an adult. Um, and there's even signs now, I'm not one of those parents like, oh, did that happen, has he got this? But he's got one leg longer than the other. It could just be random. It could be connected, I don't know, but making sure he's doing his sports, um, doing physio, keeping him active, eating good. Hopefully he'll be fine, but yeah. yeah. So yeah, it is genetic. So does that mean that someone in your family probably previously had it? Yeah, I think it's my grandma, so my mum's mum, she had a few symptoms. Yeah. Because it can affect everything literally everything like you get migraines because you've got autonomic nervous dysfunction so part of your brain dies and the channels of like dizziness headache sickness you have to like kind of work them to another part of your brain but that's part of eds so so many different things connected to it um that she had like a few symptoms there 
my mum, she had a few hip issues. Um, so there's, yeah, we can definitely see where it came from. Yeah, I think it's, uh, it's quite a lot to kind of learn about the about it ABS. Is. Yeah. It's very complex. Would you say you kind of understand everything now or did it take a while? No. Um, yeah, it definitely took a while. <clears throat> I don't know. I feel like there's always something new to add. Um, I don't think I'll fully ever learn it because things are always changing. Yeah. Um, but I know what I've got now and I'll every day I'll learn what I need to and deal with what I need to. But it's, it's very complex. <laughs> <laughs> no, I can imagine, yeah, yeah. yeah.